Thank you for watching. My name is Glenn Morgan, and this is We the Govern. So I want to point out, I have been distracted lately because of stories like this in the Olympian, in case you paid any attention. Uh, of course, it was a conservative activist, Glenn Morgan, who was involved in a shooting near my property. And uh, there's a lot more to this story, of course, than what the headline here uh, shows. And I've linked the original story down below, as well as a statement from my attorney, just so you kind of get a basic gist of what actually happened. And uh, just because I don't actually get involved in shootings uh, on a regular basis, uh, this has been a little bit more distracting than just the average things that do happen to me uh, as uh, just being part of an activist. So I want to do want to apologize a little bit in that uh, sometimes these things do come up. Don't like making stories about my Myself specifically, but sometimes these things come up and real life just intrudes on the issues that you're dealing with. So I will be telling this story in a future video, and uh, I want to tell it as uh, as it happens so people can understand uh, what's going on. I do want to make a point that there's a lot of things that did happen here, and I'll be talking about the you know weapons and the four wheelers and the guys coming in motorcycle helmets and the serial felons that uh, that I happened to run into and one of which attacked me. So there's going to be a more of an of a story about that and I think that uh, you should hear about it. I really want to put it in the context of the significant crime wave that we have going on, not just in rural communities like mine, but all over Washington State and all over the country. And this is uh, a direct, in my opinion, a direct uh, result of a breakdown in public policy that uh, needs to be addressed at some point in time sooner rather than later. So, and contrary to some of the myths that have been out there about this story, if you've already heard about it, uh, I don't believe that this situation really had anything to do with uh, my politics or political issues in general. Uh, it is true that I have had restraining orders uh, against at least one Democrat PCO who's threatened to kill me in the past, but it's been a little while, and although I do get death threats uh, on again, off again, I don't think this had anything to do with my politics specifically. But it is a bit of a distraction. Here's some of the other stories that I want to tell you about that are coming up as well that have all been happening at one time. And, uh, and I just want to let you know what's coming. Uh, NBC did an interview with me a couple weeks ago. They finally published it just a few days after the shooting. And it had to do with uh, our uh, canvassing efforts in Washington State uh, for the voter rolls with the Washington Voter Research Project. And many of you know I've been involved in that. The canvasser has been great. Some of the information we've been collecting and identifying and defects with the voter roll cleanup process has been out there. They did do an interview with me. Some people might recognize uh, a park in downtown Olympia as the backdrop. We had to frequently, we were interrupted by uh, uh, junkies and uh, uh, people coming by and yelling at us. So that did uh, cause some problems with that interview. But regardless of that, the inevitable uh, way that the story's been told, just like with the Seattle Times, just like with King 5 News, is always about trying to justify everything that's going on and saying that anybody who doubts uh, the perfection of the uh, election process is just, of course, crazy. You shouldn't be allowed to think about those things. And uh, the purpose, of course, is using these stories and articles and threats of litigation and intimidation as a way to try to silence and prevent those of us who actually care about these issues. So even though this has been a subject for me that I've cared about for many, many years now, long before many of my Democrat friends believed that the 2016 elections were hacked by Russia, uh, long before uh, Stacey Abrams said that the election was stolen were in her election, and uh, you know, not too long after the fact that uh, the Inslee Greg or the Gregoire Rossi race in Washington State in 2005 happened, I've been interested in this subject, and so uh, I've been involved in it for a long time. And there's nothing to particularly new with what we're working on now, but some of the things that we've discovered, I think specifically out of, uh, spoke, out of uh, Snohomish County and some of the other related issues I think that we're going to be able to talk about shortly in some of the other counties is a big deal. It's a story that needs to be told, and it's a very important one. It's one I want to get to, and I think we'll be doing some much more detailed stories on it very, very soon. In addition to that, uh, your, uh, our unfortunate and uh, highly uh, ineffective governor, who's been in this state now for way longer than he should be in this position, once again, I caught him breaking the law. Just like in the past, uh, I've caught him breaking campaign finance laws. That's not too unusual when he attempted to conceal from his financial disclosure documents his personal involvement in many out-of-state corporations and other entities that he was required to disclose that he attempted to conceal. And he was formally sanctioned by the Public Disclosure Commission for that not that long ago. In addition, I have found him to be breaking the executive ethics laws in Washington State. So I was actually almost done at the time this video is done right now. I pretty much completed the complaint. By the time you watch this, it'll probably be five and it'll be another story to talk about of our uh, 
governor who likes to break the law and pretend that he cares about making sure that you follow it to the detail and that none of those laws should apply to him. So it's a good story. It's one that you need to hear and one that nobody else is going to tell you about. Inevitably, if you're an activist, you're going down all kinds of trails. You don't know if they're going to be dead ends, and you don't know if they're going to actually produce some kind of results, and you don't know what storm clouds are on the horizon. It's just the nature of political activism. I'm in the middle of a variety of corruption stories. I'm in the middle of a variety of stories related to other uh, politicians and bureaucrats who are breaking the law, stories that need to be told, some uh, stories that I'm in the middle of uh, doing some research on that are related to the political process right now. And plus, if you've been paying attention to my channel, uh, I'm a big fan and a volunteer on the 11 initiatives that Let's Go Washington is putting on in Washington State. I think these are really important and great things for activists to be involved in. But no matter what happens, even uh, if it's something as distracting as having uh, you know multiple serial felons come on your property and uh, threaten you or attack you, uh, whatever it is, we don't want it to distract us from the inevitable need that exists for us to make a difference in our community. And the future does belong to those who show up. I say this all the time. It's what I say at the end of every show. Uh, those of you I've been running into out in the public who have seen, who are subscribers to my channel, I know you always come up and, and uh, say this back to me. So I, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I'm reaching out there to people. And you don't know where this road's going to lead, but we have to still show up and travel down it, to try to make it a better place, to try to fix the problems that we see around us. It's not in search of utopia, it's just to uh, make life better than it is right now. And if you sit back and do nothing, it'll only get worse. So with that, I look forward to these other videos we'll be producing. Please stay tuned, they're gonna be good. And I think you'll like some of these stories that are coming up and I hope this explains what's been going on at We The Government.